In this video I will show you how to make this magnetic levitator. You will need a pencil, two plastic cards, four small neodymium magnets, another four larger magnets, a piece of glass and two blocks of wood of the size indicated in the figure. I used these blocks from a Jenga game that are useful for many projects. Sharpen your pencil and cut the tip. Now glue two of the small magnets to the tip of the pencil. Glue the pencil again and then make another cut. Another pair of magnets need to be glued to the back of the pencil. This distance has to be the same as the distance between the magnets. Use white glue to join together the two pieces of wood. Use super glue to join the large magnets to the base. This is the finished base. The magnets at the back must be at a larger distance than the magnets at the front. The plastic cards can be sanded like I did to eliminate the color or you can also paint them any color you like. The piece of glass is glued to the plastic card with hot glue or epoxy on both sides. I have also added these plastic pads to the base. We now have all the elements of the levitator, so let's try it. Put the pencil carefully. You have to find the right distance where the piece of wood has to go. Once you find the correct placement, you have to glue the wood to the plastic base. We have glued the wood into the plastic base and now the levitator is functional. It is stable, you can move it carefully and the pencil will not fall. The second plastic card can be used to cover the magnets and give a better visual effect. In order for this to work, you have to place the magnets all with the same polarity. For example, if you glue this magnet with north-south, then the other also have to be north-south, north-south and north-south. And the same for this, north and south, north and south. Otherwise, it won't work.